before we get into the charts on Roku, let's go over this article by The Molly Fool. Could Roku stock hit $100 in 2023? So stock has been rallying this year. It's up 76% after falling 82% in 2022. However, it's nowhere near the 52-week high of 101. But there has been clearly been some momentum behind this growth stock. In particular, their entry into the hardware. Now, if you don't know about Roku, they are a streaming device company. And they bring in ads from uh, online. Uh, but the soft ad market that we saw last year as uh, interest rates um, went up has put a dent in Roku's revenues. So they made a pivot into hardware. This I didn't know. Last year they announced the line of smart home products, including plugs, doorbells, <laughs> cameras, and other items. Uh, when Roku released its latest earnings in April, the revenue growth came from the hardware sector, the devices, rather than the platform's related revenue, which makes sense, right? Uh, as companies cut back on their spending. This is just a diagram showing the um, sales broken up by uh, platform revenue and then the hardware revenue. So the platform revenue, the ads revenue is still the bulk of their um, sales but the growth is coming in the hardware. However, device margins have normally been negative for the company and with Roku's TVs needing to compete and win some market share, they may have to lower uh, their price points for the devices which is going to hurt you know, margins overall. Last quarter, uh, despite Roku's total revenue rising by 1% year over year, gross profits fell by 7%. So if margins don't improve, the growth from devices may not necessarily have the desired impact on the business. Roku has already struggled with profitability in recent quarters. And the devices account for more than revenue moving forward. This could result in worse bottom line. And you can see the operating uh, losses have taken a tick up uh, from the fourth quarter to the first quarter. And that's going to be key as we get into the charts. So there's a lot of excitement around the Roku stock, but the fundamentals still aren't great right now. And when we get into the charts, we're going to assess the technicals. Investors are better off waiting to see how the company performs as the year goes on before buying shares of the consumer goods company. As there's nowhere near break even and there's little reason to believe it's out of the woods just as yet. So this is key right here. Uh, the operating losses decreasing um, from the last quarter. And... Um, we're going to go right to the, well, let's just go to the monthly chart just so we can get a big picture. You know, Roku's selling near the the lows. This was a beautiful uh, monthly bias level, which was the catalyst for the stock. At the pandemic lows going from 60 all the way to, wow, almost $500. Helicopter money went away. We had a break below 278, and that's all she wrote. All right, so let's go to the weekly chart. And we can see that price did come into a weekly bias level at uh, $53. So we had a, a a rally in price, a basic candle, and then a, a rally higher. Came into the zone once, twice, and because there were no remaining unfilled orders below 54, the third time it came in had to go down even lower to, to find those unfilled buy orders. However, it did find it. And then the rock and the stock has been off to the races since May. Now, prices find themselves 
nipping at the nose of the lower end of the daily sellers level at $78. You can see for the week it is forming an inverted hammer candle. Uh, so there's a lot of selling pressure up at the $76 level. You could also say that that was uh, also previous support which is now resistance. So the article mentioned can Roku hit $100 this year. Well we're already in June. I'm gonna say no it cannot. Just based on the fundamentals alone. When it comes to the technicals we do see some selling wicks and we also do see another resistance support level at the $100 level. So even if price breaks through the daily sellers level at $78, even if it grinds higher over the second half of the year, just like it did back in February and just like it's doing now in June, we should get the seller stepping in. If price happened to grind higher to the $100 level, we're also going to see the buyers who bought at current price or even lower take profits. So again, can Roku hit $100 in 2023? I'm not seeing it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.